hey what's going on guys uh it's been a long time since i made a video uh, i was a little busy with other project works guys and i also fell sick so anyway uh in this video we'll see how to run an express app inside your uh, firebase cloud functions this is one of the most requested videos as well a lot of people have been asking me about uh, this but i thought you know like the whole point of having firebase is to create a serverless system right you can just uh, write a front end heavy application like using angular or ionic and then uh, for the back end for the back end um, uh, stuff you can simply use firebase to eliminate all of the hassles right so uh, what was the point in creating anyway uh, how, how do i say this so i didn't touch up on this so long but uh, in, if you remember in my last paypal express checkout video i said that i would show both the client side integration and server side integration as well right so uh, i thought uh, i'll show in this video how to take a node app and make it run inside uh, firebase cloud functions and you know configure a rest endpoint there using express so that whenever you make a call to that particular endpoint you will get some response okay we'll see how to make a, how to create a simple get request okay we'll make a simple get request in this video uh, you could similarly make other post requests you could pass in headers and all that stuff that comes along with rest as well but uh, yeah we'll get started guys so the first thing we'll do is uh, i have created an express app here so i'll make a directory express app okay inside this i'll simply give firebase uh, init and here i i need functions and hosting okay hosting usually you'll do with static websites but uh, if you combine this with rest then obviously you could make your website dynamic as well right that's the whole point of this asynchronous anyway uh, you get it all right that is done now i'll just uh, use public for hosting and then uh, no okay this is complete i'll just open this up in uh, vs code editor now cool now notice that there are two different directories one for functions which contain our cloud functions code and the other for uh, hosting uh, this public directory contains a static website that will be hosted on to firebase but uh, if you have like a, a express app running on your cloud functions then you could obviously anyway i'll show you rather than talking about it let me demonstrate it so i'll get into uh, index before getting into index.js so far i have been saying we are going to create a, a rest system with express but i haven't installed express yet eh? right so i'll cd into functions first and then npm install express save okay uh, let this get installed i'll get into index and uh, in here you see this function right we are going going to be uh, writing a similar function to this okay not exactly the same but similar so uh, what i can simply use this right i'll remove all these these are all not needed right i'll show you first i'll const uh, express uh, uh, express require express okay and then uh, it, the process is exactly similar to that of making an express app uh, using uh, i mean making a node.js app that has rest endpoints uh, through using express guys you use express library to create rest endpoints right go through my videos like a couple of years not couple of year one year 2016 videos all of them are based on this uh, main stack guys that is the uh, building uh, rest backend using express and node js and then accessing those endpoints from your angular application all my 2016 videos are on that and then only i moved on to firebase so uh, yeah anyway let's move on with this this will be exactly similar to that if you have worked with uh, express before you would obviously get it not taking uh, this is express okay i'm creating an express app and then as usual app dot get this is a get endpoint for home okay home 
request response I'll write a function is a response dot send uh, hello from express app inside firebase cloud functions okay cool right the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll send this app okay we'll even name this also app okay cool right now uh, get into firebase.json okay and inside this uh, we need to how do i say this we need to add a thing called rewrite add a field called rewrites sorry and this will be an array once again i will add a comma here and inside this you need to write some basic configuration code uh for this would be home. okay if you give it simply as star star it would pick it would mean obviously it would mean all other i mean all the urls of any pattern but in our case we'll just give home and then for this the function would be our function that we just exported the exported function where it is see this function okay exports dot app this is the one that we exported right so i am giving it as the function oh sorry so i'm giving it as the function for this particular source now uh, we have written some configuration for hosting as well let's deploy this entire app and see how this performs so that you get an idea of what i'm trying to convey here so i'll get in here and then firebase deploy oh not finish it firebase deploy Cool, right? Now you have this hosting URL. Let's just copy this. You get uh, stuff like this, right? Now what you need to do is try to navigate to the URL that we gave home, right? Hello from Express app inside Firebase Cloud Functions. This literally means that our Express app is running inside uh, this Firebase Cloud. You get what I'm trying to say here, right? Wait, I'll show you another example. Okay index.js you will write the same thing but this time you will get uh, we will write uh, second home second home hello from express app inside firebase cloud functions from express app again okay uh I expose okay we will write a similar line but this time it will be mm, second app oh okay okay uh, this is fine right now you have two endpoints and you are exporting this function. Uh, the export is not, is not going to change since both these endpoints are present in this same express instance. Uh, and uh, we'll save this, we'll deploy this once again. I told you you could write uh, post endpoints as well, right? In that case, you'll add headers here. Right? There is a lot of stuff you could give as configuration here while hosting. Uh, if I start with that, that alone, we could discuss in a separate video, oh, guys, okay. Okay, now we'll check uh, this is home, okay. And then if I just type uh, second home here. Oh, page not found. Why am I seeing this? Yeah, exactly, why am I seeing this? Okay, the same app, Express app has two endpoints and I have, all oh, this is fine. I am getting into fire. Uh, okay, this I have given only one endpoint here, right? That's the problem, you should have noticed that. Second endpoint, this will be second home. Cool, right? Now, if you just uh, deploy this once again, home works fine, a hello from Express app inside uh, Firebase Cloud Functions. And now if I give second uh, home, hello from Express app again. This is from our, uh, this endpoint, hello from Expert. You get where I'm going with this, right? Similarly, you could create multiple REST endpoints and uh, you could build out entire authentication systems just like you used to do in main stack. Uh, and you could do a var various other stuff as well. Uh, you could make calls to this REST. You could build out an entire REST API based system hosted onto Firebase Cloud functions. And then you could use the same system for both your Angular applications uh, and your Ionic applications. And that is both your front ends. 
to make those calls and then uh, get data and uh, function accordingly so yeah this is how you make your express app run inside express app or node app run inside your uh, firebase cloud functions and then use it for uh, writing your front end based application front end systems guys so yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys today in our next video uh, i am currently working on a project guys uh, this is taking too much of my time and that's why i am unable to post videos regularly but i have made a large amount of videos for you guys uh, i haven't yet edited all of them once this project is over i'll edit all of those and then release everything like once in every two days i'll release a video so kindly stay tuned uh, keep watching this channel for uh, surprise announcement and uh, yeah that's it guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video subscribe subscribe if you haven't already uh, kindly like this video and i'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye